Welcome to the 6th episode of Design Pattern series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at adapter design pattern. So what is adapter? Adapter is to convert the interface of a class into another interface clients expect. Adapter lets classes work together that couldn't otherwise because of incompatible interfaces. What does this mean? Adapter design pattern is just like the real life adapter. Suppose you have a wire that goes right into your laptop and your laptop is something like a Mac. Now you want to transfer some files from your laptop to your Windows machine using the same wire. It's not possible because the Windows machine and the Mac machine both have different ports. To resolve this issue, an adapter is brought in between so that it can convert one type of charger by taking it as an input into another charger which is the output. As simple as that, if you still don't understand, let's dive right into code and see how it works. So I'm going to go to VS Code. Just create a new file, let's call it adapter.dot and all the classes that I'm going to create is in just one file. If you want in your real life applications, you can put it them in different files. But for now, what I want to do is just create two classes and these two classes have just one method in them, get posts. And one class is getting posts from YouTube. It's not really getting it, we are going to fake it, but we are just imagining that it's getting data from YouTube and another one is getting from medium and both of their json are different so we are going to build an adapter so that we can combine the posts of youtube and medium together by converting them so what i mean is i'm just going to have one class let's call this post api1 and this is going to have just one method which is string get youtube posts and we just going to have this. This is not a future or anything because we are not really getting YouTube posts. We are just kind of mocking it. In your real life, you will not have just a string. You'll have future string or something. And now what we are going to do is just return a hard coded string from here. And since the string is going to be big, I'm going to have three inverted commas and again three inverted commas. Now I can have multi line string. So now I can just return a list of posts so suppose the youtube has a key of let's say title and the title is let's say automatic code generation with flutter and we're going to close it put a comma and then suppose the description is generate automatically now we'll just put a comma here copy this down below Let's say another one is something like a Twitter clone with Flutter and the description is just clones. So this is the YouTube data. You can add more, but you get the point. We are returning a string, which is in a JSON format from this method, which is present inside of this class. Now we're just going to have class post API 2 and this API 2 is similar to this, but this is getting it from medium. So we're going to have get medium posts and here the fields are different note that if the fields were same we don't have to use adapter pattern but since the fields are different here we'll have to use adapter pattern so that both of these can come in just one return data type and they both are same and it's easy to use them of course so suppose the field here is header instead of title and this is bio and of course if you want you can change this so you can just write something like this and the same goes over here. The header is there, bio is there. I'll just keep this, not to waste much more time on this. And now what I want to do is create an abstract class. Why do I want to create an abstract class? Because Dart doesn't allow something like interfaces. I want to have an interface so that the next two classes that I create for an adapter follow this interface. So we are just going to have I post API and this is going to have list of post get posts. So this is a function in this interface and any class that implements this abstract class will have this method overridden in this. Of course, there's no post model here. So I have to create that post model. I'll click on command full stop, create a class post and here have two fields, final string title, final string bio. Let's call this bio. Description is too long a word. We just have a constructor for this. 
So now the issue is resolved. And now we are going to dive into the adapter pattern. So we need to create adapter pattern for post API one and post API two both because we want to convert them in the format of list post get post. If you still don't understand, don't worry. Now things will get clearer. So we are just going to create a class called post API one adapter. And this will implement I post API. Click on command full stop, create one missing override. And obviously we need to implement this function. So now what do I want to do? I want to get an instance of this post API one because this is a post API one adapter, right? We need to convert this string that it's returning in the form of a list of posts. So I'll just get this post API one. So we have final API equal to post API one. Then we'll just have API dot get YouTube posts. So it's returning in a string format. So I'll just save it in final data equal to this. But also since it is returning in a string format and it is a JSON string, I can just use JSON decode. So it will decode the string that's given to it in the form of whatever it's returning. And what is it returning? Simply a list, right? It is a JSON string with a list present over here and it has one object, two object inside of it. So I can just treat this as a list. If I don't treat this as a list, it will just give me a dynamic data value, but I'm pretty sure that it's a list because I can really see the JSON data. Now I, what I want to do is data dot map. If I map through it and convert each of the data that I get in a post format, this E will give me access to this. So if you still don't understand, this is a list. I've stored this in a data variable and this data variable is getting mapped through. So if this is a list, it will map through this, this. So E, this variable right here is this object right here. Now I'll use this object and this object because we are looping it to get this fields. So I can just do title as E at title and bio as e at let's say description easy enough now we just need to convert it to a list and return this so we have mapped through the data that we got because it's in a list format we've converted it into a post model and then we have converted it to a list and we are returning that list from this function so we are returning list of posts now we'll do similar thing for the class post API two adapter. So we'll have API two adapter implementing I post API. I hope you're understanding where I'm going with this. We'll just have API two get medium posts as list. We'll map through, convert it into a post model, but the title here is going to be header and the bio is going to be bio. We'll save it. So we have two adapters ready and both of them return in the format of list of post. Now I can display both of them together if I just add both of these lists, right? Because they are both in the same format right now. If I did it earlier, it would have been string plus string and we would have gotten another string, but both of these fields would have been different, right? This has header bio and this is title description. Displaying a certain field would have become difficult. So now let's create a last class and that class is called post API. This will also implement the I post API because we want the overridden function of get posts. So let's create this missing override. Then we are going to have final API one equal to post API one adapter. Don't do post API one because post API one will give you access to a string. We want list of posts, right? Now we can paste this again. We have API two and this is equal to post API two adapter. Now we can just return API one dot get posts plus API two dot get posts. This class probably doesn't even come in 
the adapter pattern. This is just for us so that we can combine both of these posts and show it on the home screen. So right now in the home screen, what I'm going to do is just create a list view builder, which will have context index. I need an item count, so I have item count and I'll instantiate an object of final post API, post API equal to post API. I'll take this put it over here and call get post dot link over here. I'm going to return a list style with title title is going to be post API dot get posts. So let's store this in a variable for final posts is equal to post API dot get posts at index. So we have a list, we have a list view builder. We get the post of list of posts and with index, we grab one particular post. So we now have a post and now the title is post dot title. And since we want it in a widget format, we are going to wrap this with a text. So text of post dot title and subtitle of text post dot bio. So now let's run this application and see if you're getting what we want. We just want to see four list styles with the title and description or bio or whatever it's called and the application is running but we are getting an error this error is because we mocked the json wrong we don't have to put a comma here in json now let's restart the app and see we are still getting this error but this is due to our ui issues so we just need to wrap this with an expanded widget so that takes maximum space and here we have it so we have the four list style showing up automatic code generation with flutter twitter clone with flutter these two are coming from the youtube api and the rest two are coming from the medium api so you saw with just having post dot title i can get all the titles and i can get all the descriptions that's the power of adapter design pattern and this is when it's generally used there were two incompatible interfaces here we converted them into a compatible interface with the help of adapter. And then we just implemented a class so that we can combine these two APIs. We could do this in the UI itself, but it would just look bad. So I did it in another separate class. This adapter design pattern also follows the single responsibility principle because each and every class has its own use over here. They're not following two or three purposes. They all have only one purpose. So we are separating the data conversion code from the primary business logic of this application. It also follows the open or close principle, meaning we can add more adapters to this. Suppose we want to get posts from Twitter or if you want to get from Instagram, you can get it all over here. And if you add those logics, none of these adapters will break. You can just create a separate class for itself. And if you want to display it to UI, just add it over here in the post API and it will still work fine. So this was all about the adapter design pattern. In the next video, we'll take a look at the bridge design pattern.